Welcome, amazing one. And I'm going to teach you the step-by-step -step method of solving this Harvard entrance exam question. It's just so easy. Now, when you look at this, you are asked to find the value of x. Now, let's suppose x to be 1. Suppose we have our x to be 1. If you put x here, you are going to have 3 to the power of 1 plus 1. And this will give you 4. And 4 is not equal to 30. Now, let's take x to be equal to 2. We are going to have 3 to the power of 2 plus 2. 3 to the power of 2 is 9 plus 2 is 11, which is not equal to 30. Now, when you have x as 3, you are going to have 3 to the power of our x is 3, then plus our x is 3. So you know that 3 to the power of 3 is 3 multiplied 3 times to give you 27 plus 3 will give you 30. What it means is that the value of x we are expecting to get here is 30. But that does not mean we are going to just conclude that this is what we should do. This is Harvard exam. They need you to show all workings. And that is what I want to teach you. And don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comments. It always helps us to serve you best. Now, to answer this question, we begin this with solution. So what do we do? Repeat what we have. This is 3 to the power of x plus x is equal to 30. Now, what we do next is we are going to remove this. And because it's adding, we subtract from both sides. So we have 3 to the power of x is 30. So subtract this, you have minus x. Interesting. Now, what do we do next? We are going to divide both sides by this, okay? So we have 3 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x is equal to 30 minus x divided by 3 to the power of x. Now, when this divides itself, when the number divides itself, it gives us 1. So let's take it to this part. So solving, we are going to have 1 is equal to 30 minus x divided by 3 to the power of x. Now, this can also be rewritten to be 30 minus x divided by 3 to the power of x is equal to 1. So what do we do? You can also rewrite this to be 30 minus x is multiplied by 1 over 3 to the power of x. You have not changed anything. If you make this to be over 1, multiply the numerator, it gives you this. Multiply the denominator, it gives you this. So you have not changed anything. So you are still free to remove this, knowing fully well that when you divide a number by 1, it is that number. So this will be equal to 1. Just quickly remember that for every 1 over a to the power of n, it is always equal to a to the power of negative n. This is one of the rules that will guide us. So use it on this. We are going to have 30 minus x into 3 to the power of negative x is equal to 1. Now, when you have a function of this form, just remember your lambda w function. I will remind you of what it says. Now, let's take it to this part. For every a multiplied by e to the power of a, you see that the power and the coefficient of this e are the same. Just introduce your lambda w function. And when you do that, it will be equal to a. So this is going to be a guide, okay? So what do we do? When you look at what you have here, you observe that it is not the same with what you have. The power are not the same. So what do we do? Let's force this to be of this form. So what do we do? Because this is 30, what we need to do, and the base is 3, we are going to multiply both sides. So multiply both sides by 3 to the power of 30. Keep engaging. So in that case, we are going to have 3, 30 minus x multiplied by 3 to the power of negative x multiplied by 3 to the power of 30. I hope you are with me is equal to 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of 30. Interesting. And what do we do next? Just also remember, for every a to the power of m, 
plus n, it is a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So this is also a guide. Now, we are going to apply this. You observe that this is of this form. So we are going to put this to be in this form. And to do that, we have 30 minus x, okay, multiplied by 3 to the power of negative. So you can add the powers because they are multiplying, okay? So we have this plus 30 is equal to 1 multiplied. This gives us 3 to the power of 30. Interesting. So what do we do next? Remember that this can also be written as 30 minus x multiplied by 3 to negative x plus 30 is also 30 minus x. And that is equal to 3 to the power of 30. Interesting. But at this point, you also still observe that this is not yet in this form. You observe there is e, but what we have here is 3. So just quickly remember this, that when you have e of ln of a, okay, it is always equal to a. This is also a guide. Now, what do you do? Just these three, we are going to raise it to the power. You are going to use a and raise it to the power of this so that it will give you back this a, which is of three, okay? So to do that, we are going to have 30 minus x multiplied by this three, only this three, is the same as e to the power of ln of 3. That will give us back 3. You have not changed anything. And it's raised to the power of 30 minus x. Interesting. And that is equal to 3 to the power of 30. And I hope you've already given us a like. Share this so that the algorithm catches it and send it to more people that need this skill. Thank you very much. And let's do this together. So what do we do again? Just remember that when you have ln of a to the power of x, just your usual logarithm rule, the power will always multiply. So you have x of ln of a. So this is going to also guide us. We are going to apply it on this, okay? So to now have 30 minus x, then we have e, okay? This ln of this, we now we use this rule on it. So this power, we multiply the ln. So we are going to have 30 minus x. Then we have ln of 3. I hope you are with me there. And that is equal to 3 to the power of 30. Interesting. So what do you do again? Observe that the power is not yet the same with this. So what do you think we should do for us to apply this? We are going to multiply both sides of this equation by ln of 3. Now to do that, we are going to have 30 minus x ln of 3, okay, multiplied by e to the power of 30 minus x ln of 3. You also multiply this side is equal to ln of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 30. Interesting. Now, what do we do next? We can also choose to put this in the form of our lambda w function, okay? Carefully observe that this and this are the same. But let's still put this in the form of the lambda so that you can take the lambda of the two sides of the equation. So to do that, we are going to have that we have 30 minus x ln of 3 multiplied by e to the power of 30 minus x ln of 3 is equal to now we know that this 3 to the power of 30 we can also rewrite it as 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 27 we know full well that you can add the powers to be give you back this 30 so what it means is that we can still have this as so this will give us this is equal to ln of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 27. So what do we do? We keep simplifying this we have. So this gives us 30 minus x, okay, ln of 3 e to the power of 30 minus x ln of 3 
is equal to now we know that 3 to the power of 3 is 3 multiplied 3 times to give us 27 so we can have it as 27 ln of 3 then 3 to the power of 27 remember we are still targeting to put this in the form so that we can apply the Lambert okay so in that case we know that this 3 to the power of 27 we can also recall what we stated that for every e to the power of ln of a is equal to a. So we can apply this on this only. So to do that, we are going to have 30 minus x, then ln of 3, e to the power of 30 minus x ln of 3 is equal to 27 ln of 3, so for this, for this three, we are going to use this. So we're going to have e to the power of ln of three to the power of 27, knowing fully well that this will still give us back three to the power of 27. So you have not changed anything. It's just for you to apply the Lambert on this side. So we keep simplifying. We have 30 minus x ln of three e to the power of 30 minus x ln of 3 is equal to, so we have it as 27 ln of 3. Remember we said this power, we multiply the ln. So in that case, we have, we are going to have e to the power of 27 ln of 3. Interesting. What did you observe now? You observe that this power and this are the same. And also this and this are the same. So let's take the Lambert W function of the both sides. And to do that, we have... So taking the Lambert W function of the both sides, we have... This gives us 30 minus x, okay? Ln of 3 e to the power of 30 minus x ln of 3, okay? Is equal to the Lambert W function of... 27 ln of 3 e to the power of 27 ln of 3. Interesting. So what do you do next? Just remember what you stated for every a e to the power of a. When you take the Lambert W function of it is equal to a. So simplifying this, we are going to now have. So this and this are the same. So just pick one of it. We have 30 minus x ln of 3 is equal to this and this are the same so just have 27 ln of 3 interesting so what do we do to get our x we divide both sides by ln of 3 and to do that we have so this gives us we have 30 minus x ln of 3 divided by ln of 3 is equal to 27 ln of 3 divided by ln of 3 this cancels, this cancels. So we are left with 30 minus x is equal to 27. Interesting. So to get our x, we are going to have as 30. This is positive, so it's going to be minus 27. This is negative, it's going to be positive x. So in that case, we have x will be equal to subtract this, we are going to have 3. So you see that this corresponds to what we stated at the beginning of this tutorial so our x is 3 so that when you plug it here it's giving us what 30 and i hope you learned something so new today don't forget to tell us how much it helps you in the comment if this helps you subscribe to our channel and click on the notification for more updates share this so that others will learn and give this a thumbs up thank you for always engaging i love you all Bye bye